in terms of being able to domesticate animals. And certain animals are you're able to domesticate and certain ones you're not. Europe has, you know, cows, goats, sheep, all these different animals. A total of 14 native native animals to those to that Eurasian continent were able to be domesticated. There are zero species able to be domesticated that are native to North America, zero. So if you're like some you know, you're an Apache or whatever, you're not, you're not able to domesticate. There's no domesticated animals. It's because they're just not able to be domesticated. Some animals are more inclined to go through that process than others. So Europe had a distinct advantage where it's like, not only can we grow food, but we can take this thing. It's an ancient precursor to the cow called an oryx. And an oryx, you can just, you can fence in, same thing with sheep. You can, and you can make clothing out of that. They had all these animals that were ripe for domestication so North America had zero, Africa has zero, South America has one, it's the llama. It's the only animal that they're you know, able to domesticate. Australia, zero. Now, because they had those domesticated animals, there was the other thing, this gets to the germs. So with the germs, most of these really terrible diseases, smallpox, influenza, uh, measles, they come primarily from living in close proximity to animals. So because Europeans had been living this way for hundreds and thousands of years with these domesticated animals around them, they developed some herd immunity to these things. So Europeans get have a smallpox outbreak. It's not great, but you're not going to necessarily have the entire population wiped out where if you bring those animals and these diseases with you across the Atlantic Ocean, you're, and those people had never been exposed to those diseases, well, it's going to have a drastically worse impact. And they say that when the conquistadors brought over, they, they initially came over, they, they did all sorts of horrible things, but they also unintentionally brought over these diseases. And there are people who speculate that it was the disease in the 1500s from the Spaniards landing in, North, landing in the New World that killed 95% of the indigenous population. 